Watchman Adam YouTube channel, where we're looking for that blessed hope. So family, I saw this article and I wanted to report it to you. But before we go into the video, just remember, we do not have a spirit of fear. If you're children of the Most High, the Lord's going to protect you and look after you. Now let's get right into this article. The Department of Homeland Security warns Russia could launch cyber attack on the United States. The Department of Homeland Security is warning that Russia may pursue a cyber attack against the U.S. as tensions escalate over Moscow's buildup of forces near the border with Ukraine. The DHS bulletin, dated Sunday, outlined that Russia could launch such an attack if perceived by any U.S. or NATO response to be a threat to its own national security. Russia has a number of cyber tools it could use to attack the United States ranging from low-level denials of service to destructive attacks targeting critical infrastructure. The bulletin says Russia almost certainly considers cyber attacks an acceptable option to the response to adversaries because it lacks the ability to respond with the economic and diplomatic options often preferred by other countries. Administration officials have pinned both the Colonial Pipeline attack, which shut down the flow of oil, as well as the attack of meat suppliers JPS on Russian attackers. The Sunday bulletin noted Russian military assets have also launched attacks in Ukraine, pointing to attacks on the former Soviet state's power grid in both 2015 and 2016. The bulletin goes on to say this, We assess that Russia's threshold for conducting disruptive or destructive cyber attacks in the homeland probably remains very high and we have not observed Moscow directly employ these types of cyber attacks against the United States critical infrastructure notwithstanding cyber espionage and potential prepositioning operations in the past. Now family, as many of you know, people send me their prophetic dreams and visions. I get many a week and many people have sent me dreams that they've had of the power grids going out in the United States from a cyber attack. Jacqueline Schneider of Stanford's Hoover Institution said this, and I quote her, I think the Biden administration is trying to cover their bases. They're not really sure of the extent of the crisis in cyberspace or beyond. And then she went on to say this, it's actually really hard to know how much of the cyber activity occurring in Russia is officially condemned by the Putin regime. So we are going to see more criminal activity during the Russian-Ukraine crisis. And we continue to see tensions between Ukraine and Russia. Family, I'm telling you, man, we are seeing wars and rumors of war. Just remember, like I've said in the beginning of this video, and I tell you all the time, we do not have a spirit of fear. The Most High is going to protect us and look after us. And family, remember this. If God is for us, who cares who was against us? The God's got our back. Now, let me give you the gospel of Jesus. Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, and Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. He never once sinned. At the age of 30, Jesus started his earthly ministry, and in three years, he changed the entire world forever. At the age of 33, Jesus Christ went to the cross and spilled his perfect, innocent blood for the remission of my sins, your sins, your best friend's sins, everybody's sins. And he laid dead for how long, family? Three days, three days, three days. And at that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. He ascended to be with the Father. And on this channel, we know he's coming back for us soon. And what are we looking for, family? It's that Titus 2.13, blessed hope. And that day is fastly approaching. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for the love and support. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our family. You are truly more than a number here. You are loved and appreciated. And I truly do love every last one of you guys. And if you're in need of a free King James Version Bible, email me at feedtreewatchman at gmail.com. And if you feel led to donate to the ministry, you may do so via Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, or by mail. There's more information in the description box below. Family, stay strong. Keep on looking up. Because Jesus is coming soon. Till next time, watch me now on signing out. Take care.